Sorry. Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. And this story called Wonderful Story, but it is a Bible. We are going to read the Bible stories from now. Chapter 1. Creation. God made many things. Genesis 1-2. In the beginning, there was nothing. There was no sun, there was no moon, there was no stars. So in the beginning, there was nothing in the world. It was only dark. There was no light, there was no moon and the stars. There was no people also. I will make the world. God said, so God made the world. So God knew that he, God, think that I will make the world. So there is a light. Let's see. What's that? I will make the sun, God said. God made the sun. The sun helps you to see things in the daytime. Sorry? So, first, God made the sun. And God... And the sun helps us to see in the daytime. I will make the moon, said God. God made the moon. The moon helps you see things at the night. So also God made the moon. Moon Moon helps us to see things at the night. So the first day God has made the sun. The second day day God made the moon. I'll make the stars. God said that what do you think? He did then. God made stars. Do you like stars? Yes, I like stars. But in Korea, we cannot see from the sky. But sometimes we can see. <laughs> I really like the star. It is wonderful, right? And the third day, he have like the second day, he have made the moon and the star. God made a man and a woman. God made you and me. God made many more things too. He made them for you and me. Are you happy that God made everything? Thank you God for everything. So God made the star, the moon and the sun and the animals, the land, water, animals, like human. All things what we have, God has made. God has made flowers, trees, animal, land, water. So many things God has made, right? Chapter 2. Temptation of Adam and Eve. Something bad, something sad. Genesis 2-3. to Let's read. Adam was Eve's husband. Adam and Eve was the first human that God has made. God has made Adam first, then he made Eve. Eve was Adam's wife. They had a good home. They had a good food. They, had, they could go anywhere they wanted to go. They could do anything they wanted to do so they had many good things and they were very happy in these days there was no sense oh, but what the title is something bad and something sad temptation of adam and eve let's see in the next page but 
there was one thing they couldn't do. You must not eat the fruit on the dead tree, God said. So, they could do everything, but only one they couldn't do. They couldn't eat the fruit on the middle of the tree. And there's a snake. He's like a Satan. He's tempting even Adam. For a time, Adam and Eve didn't did not eat the fruit from the tree. Satan talked to Eve one day. Look, it's delicious. Try it. It will make you clever. He said Adam knew God didn't did not want her to eat that. But she didn't obey God's word and ate the fruit. God said to Adam and Eve that if you eat the fruit from the tree, you will die. But like Satan was telling them that if you eat this, you will be clever like God. So Adam and Eve ate it too. Then Adam and only Eve knew that they had done something very bad. So there was, they were like hmm? eating it. Like he have tempt the snake tempted Eve, and Eve gave it to Adam. So. So from that time, the sin has came in the person's heart, and they have, like, I think, like, meaning of you will die if you eat that fruit from the tree. I think that was the meaning that the sin will come in, because when from we are born, We'll, we're like sinner. They were very sad. God made them to go away from their home. They took any their good food away from their good food. So Adam and Eve had nothing now. God made them go away from their home. In that garden, it was very good, it was very comfortable, and there was no sun, so they were all very faithful and happy. But he only, they only ate the fruit, and now they have just disobeyed God, and now they could they have to go away from their home and he took away their good food. That means we should obey God, right? We should obey. It began to hurt, hurt them. We didn't obey God's word. They said it's very good for us to listen to God too. So they have disobeyed God now. They have failed all things what they had. So that means that much we should obey God's word. Um, today I've read two stories. One story name was... And Christian got made and everything Genesis one to two, and I will have uh, read Temptation of Adam and Eve, something bad, something sad, Genesis two to three. We should obey God, right? And next time I will read another good story. And next chapter name is. The flood and the ark. Noah made a big boat. Genesis six to seven. 
Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!